Hi, I'm Scott Ferguson with Light Reading, and we're at Mobile World Congress 2018, and we're talking to Kevin Hutchins. He is the Senior Vice President of Strategy and Product Marketing at Juniper. Kevin, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, can you talk a little bit about the concept of the self-driving network? What, what, what do we mean by that? Sure, so um, our view is that uh, networks have become inherently complex. Um, and increasingly the demands on the network require um, a greater level of visibility and a greater level of automation um, in order to allow you to run them uh, much more effectively at a much lower cost. So the vision for the self-driving network is um, a tr you know, ultimately getting to a truly autonomous network experience, one that um, uh, has a high degree of automation, has the ability to self-heal, has the ability to provide um, not only analytics on what's happening, but also the ability to start predicting what will happen with regards to the network and allowing the operator to take more proactive steps um, to ensure continuous operation of the network and optimal performance. So speaking of automation, what are Juniper bots and what impact are they having on automation? Yeah, so um, uh, you know, the, the path towards a true self-driving network um, is not you know, a big bang. It's going to take multiple steps. Um, and the, you know, the very first step is really creating more of a platform that enables automation um, that customers can take advantage of across multiple use cases. And, and just to be clear, the, the purpose of automation just to begin with is to take you know, repetitive, you know, manually intense tasks and, and allow the machine to do that for you. Um, so the bots are, are basically applications that sit on this platform that I was describing that essentially take individual tasks and, and automates them, takes it out of the, the hands of, of an operator um, who would be doing that manually. Um, so for example, you know, um, peering is a, is a, a very common application that a, that a network operator has to configure. And more often than not, you know, just having to go through all of the manual steps to, uh, to set up a peering relationship, it's not only a wide number of steps, but it's, it's actually very timey, uh, timely. It's very, it takes, it's very time consuming, um, but it's also uh, uh, fraught with potential errors because of each one of those steps, you know, if you misconfigure, then you'll potentially create errors that could cause you to have either delays or, or uh, failures in service. And so bots are, you know, applications that take all of those steps, package them up in a uh, intent driven, so uh, something that can be expressed in human language, intent driven, uh, uh, you know, interface, um, convert that into the rich set of, of configuration instructions that need to be delivered to the network, and then ensures that they are delivered properly and then provides status back to the operator. Mm. And speaking of which, um, what are the business impacts uh, for those implementing these bots? Yeah, so, um, so we've introduced a number of bots, um, including, you know, we at the show here, we've, we've introduced an, a new bot as well, but previously we introduced a bot on peering. Uh, we've introduced something that we call HealthBot, which is really about how do you do in-depth monitoring um, of the network. And then most recently here, we, we introduced our node slicing bot um, for helping customers actually set up and manage uh, node slicing within their network. Um, you know, each one of these bots, like I said, is, is essentially taking uh, operator error and manual work out of the process. So the, the biggest immediate benefits are really around, um, you know, removing all of that rework, removing time to go figure out what's gone wrong in terms of a configuration, and also just basically reducing uh, the cost of operations. So for our peering bot, which we introduced uh, late last year, um, one of our first uh, customers was a tier one service provider. Um, and, <coughs> excuse me, our estimate for um, cost savings based on implementation of the, the peering bot was they could eliminate 39% of their total cost of ownership um, based on using the bot um, for a three year period relative to if they had continued to do that configuration manually. Kevin, thank you very much. Thanks, Scott. Thanks.